What explains the big leap in performance for the new Sonnet 3.5? I mean, at least in the programming side, and maybe this is a good place to talk about benchmarks. What does it yeah. mean to get better? It's just the number went up, but you know, I, I, I program, but I also love programming and I um, claw 3.5 through cursors, what I use uh, to assist me in programming. And there was, ex at least experientially, anecdotally, it's gotten smarter uh, at programming. So what like what what does it take to get it uh, to get it smarter? We observe that as well. By the way, there were a couple uh, very strong engineers here at Anthropic, um, who all previous code models, both produced by us and produced by all the other companies, hadn't really been useful to, to hadn't really been useful to them. You know, they said you know maybe a be, maybe this is useful to a beginner. It's not useful to me. But Sonnet three point five, the original one, for the first time, they said, "Oh my God, this helped me with something that you know that it would have taken me hours to do." This is the first model that's actually saved me time. So again, the waterline is rising, and and then I think you know the new Sonnet has been has been even better in terms of what it what it takes. I mean, I'll just say it's been across the board. It's in the pre training, it's in the post training, it's in various evaluations that we do. We've observed this as well, and if we go into the details of the benchmark, so. SWE bench is basically, you know, since since you know since since you're a programmer, you know you, you'll be familiar with like pull requests and you know uh, just just pull requests are like the, you know the like a sort of a sort of atomic unit of work. You know, you could say I'm you know I'm implementing one I'm implementing one thing, um, uh, and and so SWE bench actually gives you kind of a real world situation where the code base is in a current state. And I'm trying to implement something that's you know that's described in described in language. We have internal benchmarks where we where we measure the same thing, and you say just give the model free reign to like you know do anything, run 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 anything, edit anything. Um, how how well is it able to complete these tasks? And it's that benchmark that's gone from it can do it three percent of the time to it can do it about fifty percent of the time. Um, so I actually do believe that. If we get, I, you can game benchmarks, but I think if we get to hundred percent on that benchmark in in a way that isn't kind of like overtrained or 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 game for that particular benchmark, probably represents a, a, a real and serious increase in kind of in kind of programming programming ability. And and I would suspect that if we can get to you know 90, 90 95 percent, that 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 you know it, it will it will represent ability to autonomously do a significant fraction of software engineering tasks.